Hey subscribers, hey YouTube, Paul McKay here, One Voice Music Academy. your mind. And guess what? In this video, we're all going to learn how riffs and runs are performed. I'm just going to break it down so simply that anyone with a decent voice and a decent ear can understand riffs and runs. And I know it's frustrating because we're hearing these artists doing these intricate sequences of notes and they're doing them so quickly and it's amazing, you know? Um, but trust me, I have cracked the code on this and we're all going to get riffs and runs, okay? You just gotta sing with me. I'm not gonna go into the theory too much. I'm just gonna sing and I need you to sing along with me for this video to work, okay? So check it out. It's designed like a triangle. I'm just gonna let it appear on the screen right here. Looks like Pascal's triangle, okay? For those of you who know math and what it looks like. But this is an exercise. It's a framework for understanding it. Now, here we go. Just sing with me. Um, well, I'll do it first. I'll demonstrate it, and then you can sing with me. So here we go. So here it is. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two. the pentatonic scale is when it is applied, when it's used, not all five notes of the pentatonic are used in every riff and every run. Quite often it's only four notes or three notes of the pentatonic and this is going to make sense when I drop the numbers, okay? So I'm going to drop the numbers and I'll use an ah vowel, okay? So here it is, I'm going to sing ah, 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 ah. Okay, now it doesn't sound like riffs and runs right now, but if I were to sing it with a style that's more reflective of today's modern contemporary vocalists, very quickly, this exercise will sound pretty legit. All right, check this out. So say I went, ah, 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 See what I did? I just added some little style tricks in there, some grace notes, um, a couple of little slides, and then it sounds more authentic. Okay, now. You look at the pyramid real quick, you can actually see how each layer of this exercise represents a certain type of riff or run, and this is the first inversion. Now, this is not an Illuminati triangle, okay? It's just a triangle, and this is just an exercise, and this is the first inversion of the pentatonic scale, okay? And we're going to move on to the next exercise. So here we go. Here we go, we're going to use the numbers, and it's going to appear on the screen as well, so it's two, two, three, two, two, three, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, one, five, four, three, two. All right, um, you can just rewind and try it again, okay? Just go through it, practice it, do it again, practice it again. It takes this type of practice to actually understand riffs and runs, okay? But if you will commit yourself to the work, it will be extraordinary what you come out with, okay? We're going to drop the numbers and we'll use an O vowel, okay? So check this out. Oh, 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 Okay, and I'm going to sing it with a style that sounds more like um, modern contemporary vocalists. Oh, 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 Do you see how that works? Please practice this. You'll get it if you practice this video. You will get riffs and runs, okay? Now, this particular application of the pentatonic scale, it does continue. 
and there were three other inversions, okay? So just learn these two first, okay? You can visit my website, onevoicemusic.ca, and you'll find uh, just a lot of resources there to actually help you, okay? So one more time, Paul McKay, subscribe, like this video, and tune your mind. Ooh, tune your mind.